You've gotten lost as you walk home from a party on a sweltering night. You've been thirsty for blocks, but can't seem to find any restaurants or convenience stores open where you can buy something to quench your growing thirst. You take a turn down the next side street, and that's when you see it. Like a mirage sitting in front of you is an almost impossibly retro-looking Coca-Cola branded vending machine. Surprised and thankful, you take the opportunity to buy something cold. But, upon closer inspection, you realize that besides the five run-of-the-mill drink choices available, lies an option labeled mystery. You're hesitant, but at the same time, terribly curious. And besides, what's the worst that could happen? So, you take a chance and press the button, and sure enough, you're rewarded with something strange and wonderful. Back in the late 1990s, or 1980s according to some reports, a suspicious soda vending machine that seemed to be from the 70s mysteriously appeared in front of Broadway Locksmith on East John Street in Capitol Hill, Seattle. But it wasn't its archaic appearance that would intrigue locals and tourists alike for decades. It was the handwritten and weirdly faded mystery buttons that would attract people from far and wide whether they were thirsty or not. After all, as I'm sure anyone who has used a gotcha machine, opened up a loot box, or doom scrolled on TikTok will tell you, the thrill of the unknown is a powerful thing. The mystery choice became so popular that what started out as only one mystery button, among other options like Coca-Cola, Mountain Dew, and 7-Up, soon blossomed into every single option being replaced with a mystery label. But these mystery buttons didn't just produce a randomly chosen familiar soft drink. No, as of 2002, buyers had the chance to get their hands on strange, often unheard of drinks like bacon-flavored Coke and long-forgotten discontinued drinks like Sierra Mist, Crystal Pepsi, Hubba Bubba bubblegum soda, squirt soda, whiteout Mountain Dew, black cherry frescas, and sun-kissed cherry limeade, to name a few. But maybe even weirder was that some reported getting drinks only available in other countries such as Russia or Japan. But the drinks it dispensed wasn't the only enigma. The machine itself was shrouded in mystery for a number of reasons. For starters, it seems to have just simply appeared with no one being able to pinpoint the exact day or even year that it made its home in front of that locksmith shop. Second, not a single person knew who owned the machine or how they managed to keep it always full of strange beverages without ever being caught in the act. In March 2014, Vice wrote an article titled, Seattle Has a Haunted Soda Machine. In it, the author attempted to question the general manager of the locksmith, Mickey, if he had truly never seen anyone tend to the machine, he replied that they'd honestly never seen anyone open it. He must come in the middle of the night on a weekend or something. Or, as the vice author hypothesized, could be a restless, undead spirit able to transcend laws of space-time in order to supply an endless assortment of carbonated drinks. Whoever the owners were, they must have gotten wind of the growing fascination, because in August of 2011, a Facebook page was created called Mystery Soda Machine, and throughout the year, they would post photos of the machine and people using it with captions in first person from the point of view of the machine. But then, a month after the article was released, a photo of a man and a woman filling the machine was captured on April 26, 2014 and posted to Twitter. This dissipated the ever-growing conspiracy that the machine was kept running by some paranormal affair, but still didn't give any clues as to the actual identities of the owners. What about a paper trail? Wouldn't the owners have needed to have a valid permit with the city in order to operate the machine? Well, in 2015, a reporter with the Seattle Times wondered the same thing, but was informed by the city that they had no permits for it on record. And what did Broadway Locksmith really know? The owners of the shop and employees who worked there over the years continually informed people that they had no idea who operated the vending machine. Now, whether or not they kept feigned ignorance in order to capitalize on a growing cultural phenomenon surrounding the vending machine mystery, or if they truly didn't know a thing is not for me to say. Then, around 2017, the usually cooperative machine started to act awry as people began reporting that their change would be taken with nothing being provided in return. And suddenly, in June of 2018, the mystery soda machine vanished. In its place was a note that read, went for a walk. A short video of the empty space and note was posted to the Facebook page with the caption, going for a walk, need to find myself, maybe take a shower even. And what followed was several photos posted to the page's 35,000 followers of the machine in front of different Seattle landmarks and photoshopped into interesting settings. A final post on January 29th, 2022 was captioned, Doctor said he can probably fix me. 
along with a photo of a very dirty and graffitied mystery soda machine strapped to a dolly cart. Then it was said that it was put in a new location on 8th Avenue Northeast Shoreline, Washington, though this machine was merely a replica as it bore too many differences to the original. And a few months later, in December, the machine in that location disappeared too. Since then, no one has seen or heard from the mystery vending machine in any form ever again. And to this day, with only the Facebook posts and a faceless refill photo to go on, the case of the mystery soda machine has never been fully solved. At least, not to the wider public. But, just like the drinks it dispensed, maybe some things are better left a mystery. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our channel. You'd be surprised to know how big of an impact your one sub has on this video's success. Plus, we've got plenty more mysteries coming that you won't want to miss. So, until next time, thanks for watching, and hope to see you again soon.